Uh, there's Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I've got four Pinot Noirs in front of me today uh, and uh, I learned yesterday that uh, Pinot Noir apparently is the recommended wine for eating with human cheek. Uh, so says James Maynard Keenan, uh, frontman of uh, the group Tool uh, and also a winemaker. Um, I can't remember where he makes wine, is it? It's some, some weird stage. Is it Maryland or Michigan? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I'm not going to have uh, human cheek tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to have tonight, but um, maybe it's going to be accompanied by one of these wines. So, one Chilean, three New Zealanders, all with screw caps. Um, uh, first one, El Rasuri's, uh Estate Reserva Pinot Noir 2011 uh, from the Aconcagua. Now, Aconcagua, um, there's hot Aconcagua uh, where they have traditionally grown uh, the grapes for the Rasuri's wines like uh, Don Max Cabernet, uh, but ne the, these guys have been planting far close to the sea. So this is cool Aconcagua. Let's see whether it's a cool wine. Blue ribboned wafer biscuit oak. Um, chocolate wafer biscuit oak. I, f I find that, that that's a character that really jumps out. Uh, I get this, uh, behind it there's a like strawberry and cherry ever so slight jamminess. Um, and, uh, but um, yes, I mean that, that oakiness, it's a very seductive character. Uh, but um, I sometimes wish, well, what, what's it like without it? But let's see. I wish they'd had the confidence to do a little less oaky treatment there. I don't think it says on the back whether it's had uh, major oaking or not. Um, but it, it rather frames the flavours. The flavours are nice. Um, it feels like there's a bit of freshness about them, despite the 13.5% alcohol. Um, but yes, it's, um, it's slightly muddy the waters. It may, it's made for a, a, a panel, uh, a palate that uh, drinks too much Coca-Cola and uh, eats too much jam. Um, hey, oh well. Nearly there, good fruit, but not quite for me, anyway. Uh, next one, Villa Maria, um, Pinot Noir m from Marlborough, 2011. And this is the private bin bottling. We've got another Villa Maria uh, one coming up at the end, so it'll be interesting to see how they compare. Quite a contrast between this and the one before. Uh, I don't notice oak as much, but I do notice roundness, softness, suppleness, and maybe verging on that ever so slight overripeness, maybe. It's gone into um, cooked fruit rather than jam. Um, so um, it smells like it's going to be warm and friendly, and um, maybe, it, 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 it's funny, the first one felt like it had more acidity. This one feels like it's soft, but not uh, muddied by the oak. Contrast between those two is, is, is quite, quite not that stark's the wrong word, but uh, I like the, uh, the freshness of the fruit on the first one. I like the way they've handled uh, the oak on the second. So I don't notice a smothering of oak. What I do notice is a slightly stewed edge to the fruit. Um, so there's these berries, there's the plums, um, but um, it's, uh, there's just this muddiness about them. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the first one actually calmed down and got less oaky. Here, I'm not sure what's going to happen with, with the, with, in the future because I miss a little, a little bit of freshness here. It's, it's okay and uh, I certainly finished the glass but I don't know whether I'd reach for another one. Yeah, good but not great. Actually, I probably might have another glass, half a glass. Um, it's actually growing on me, weird. I, I, I'll report back on that one because um, I'll report back on both of them because I think both of them, um, they're, they're all these four are in screw caps and it's um, doing these immediate judgments often isn't fair on wines like this, but um, I, yeah, I, I will report back. Next one, uh, we're, so uh, that was in Marlborough, actually all these uh, New Zealand Pinots are, are Marlborough, the next one is Forest, he said burping, Forest uh, Pinot Noir, so that was 11, this one's 2010, uh, Forest Estate, uh, let's give this one a whirl. Now this smells deeper and more interesting. Um, in terms of concentration of flavour, I'd almost say that the, um, the one before uh, had uh, some um, higher spikes of flavour, but this one feels like it's got uh, more breadth of flavour, so there's an earthiness here. There's, there's, uh, there's the cherries, there's the red berries, there's the wild berries as well. There's a touch of plumminess. Um, if oak's uh, making, doing anything here, maybe it's adding a little bit of polish and uh, just a touch of vanilla sheen to it, but um, it smells a higher class wine, and I think it's a higher class price, but hey. Oh, it's a lot more grown up, that wine. It's got the juiciness, it's got the, um, the fruity qualities, it's got the earthy qualities, it's got the savoury edge as well. And, um, and, and, and it, it, it's higher alcohol. I mean, these two are 13 half, these two are 14%, uh, but there's still this freshness coming through on the finish. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. 
Let's see whether I like the final one. So we're going 11, 10, and this is 2009. Back to Villa Maria, and it's their Reserve Marlborough Pinot Noir 2009. Again, we're on the seductive side here. Um, there's that lush, truffly allure, um, soft, warm, ripe um, loganberries uh, rather than blackberries. Um, and yeah, loganberries, raspberries, a uh, touch of plum. Uh, if the cherries, it's more, well, it's probably that little, halfway between red and black cherries. Is that rack cherries? Um, but um, yeah, it smells like it's going to be, I mean, Pinot Noir for me is one of those wines that should make your knees go slightly weak. First two were okay. These two are more in the uh, knee trembler territory. But then when I come to taste it, I was com said that I had a problem with the slightly stewed fruit on uh, um, on, on, on the private bin. Um, I get a little bit of that same character here. Almost as if someone has just overworked the fruit a little bit too much uh, in trying to get uh, flavour out. Um, I like the smell. I mean, Pinot Noir, uh, uh, more than two thirds of the pleasure probably from uh, great Pinot Noir, just sitting and sniffing it um, and then having this silky, I mean, it's, uh, Pinot Noir, if you, if you just sniff it, you're missing the point. I was going to make a rude sexual analogy, but I will not. Um, but um, yeah, here, um, there's, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Judging by the aromas, the wine does come out of its shell. Uh, I was saying the same about the first two. Um, and uh, But at the moment, uh, the forest is, is um, for me, something that I, yeah, I prefer. I'll, I'll just go back to this Villa Maria and see if I can coax a little bit more out of it. Oh, it's, it's carping about um, saying that it's, it's slightly stewed. Put it this way, I prefer the one before. This one here, um, maybe it is on that sweet, ever so slightly jammy side, but um, still pretty nice. And uh, I don't think I'd refuse a second glass of that. Certainly wouldn't. I, I may even go for a third glass, providing it's a small one. Um, but um, I enjoyed those, so I um, hope you did too, and I will see you soon. Bye.